punctuation errors and capitalization issues. So the main idea will simply be writing. Well, the you idea will be what I learned about my writing stuff. Oh, sh oh no, never mind. It's still going. We're good. Cheryl, while you're here, can you occasionally jiggle the mouse to make sure it doesn't go to sleep? Thank you. You've been replaced, Walter. Um, uh, right. This so opinion. this is a pretty open-ended topic, like I said. However, there are going to be some, you know, teeth to it. Um, it includes brainstorming sheet. Sheet, which means, you know, you put down all the stuff that you're thinking about. While I'm talking about the brainstorming sheet, I feel like I should make one last observation on the brainstorm. A good brainstorm is going to have ideas that you would never touch in a million years on it, that you would never include on your paper, but since you're on this topic, you know, you, you put them down anyway. They're not relevant. It's the equivalent of Anyone here ever, I'm sure all of you have used a sieve at some point, a strainer, you know, like yeah. if you're making beans, you you know put the beans from the can into the little sieve and run water through it to get the preservatives off. So that's what basically the brainstorming is. You're just getting the beans out of the can, so to speak. All the ideas out of your head, onto the paper, and outlining is the sieve that takes away, you know, the preservatives. Wow, that was a terrible metaphor. But I'll go with it. Anyway. How many things keep falling down when I stand up? Um, includes a brainstorming sheet. I expect you to outline, although I don't require you to turn in said outline. But if I look at the brainstorming sheet and I just see that, I just see all the ideas from the brainstorming sheet put into paragraph form, do you think I'm going to be a really happy camper about that? Yeah. No! Use all no is the correct answer. Yeah. No, right. You have to. You have okay, to pick cool. one of the topics in, in right, the, and then in there go for it. And yeah. Write from that. Or are you just trolling me? No, no you're trolling me. I, I didn't use all my. I'm giving you an out. Take it. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I, I didn't use all my brainstorming things as you saw when I. Yeah. I just used the one. You're not supposed to use So you need to pick one thing out of the brainstorming. Right, and then you outline and, and, and outline that. Yeah, you outline that. No, write on it. Write on it. She says. Well, you outline it, then you write on it. So say, you know. Okay. All right. So everyone clear on that? No. No? Okay. That's yeah, right. So what you're saying is you, you uh, as far as the outline is concerned, you don't want to see a physical outline. No, but I will know if you don't. Okay. It, it'll show in your structure and how you word things and how you transition or don't transition. All I, all I need to know is what I can you tell. actually wanted us to do an outline. Yeah, you should outline your work. But then mostly the outline becomes the work right. as you fill in sentences and make it, right. you know, stem. So, um, how are we going to get, anyone have any bright ideas about how to get business and uh, business writing into this somehow? Well, it's going to be on the outline. Yeah. You mm, will mention not about quite. memos. Okay, we're going to say emails. another requirement. At least, you know. Well, it would be in the, in the, in the um, right. No, because outlining isn't business lighting. It's no, just, but know. it would be in the brainstorming sheet. It would be, but. But we also need to show that you can you can definitely use it, or at least that you understand the concepts behind it, so which is you know, professionalism, minimal use of overly long words, to the point, well, civil, you know, bullets. So, all right, there has to be. Mr. Walter has a question, seriously. Huh? No, actually, it's, it was just suggesting you were talking about incorporating this writing into mm -hmm. our writing. Yes. Yeah. This, this what I learned and whatnot. How about we give an example of what we learned of the business writing? Okay. So give examples of business writing? Yeah. All right. So examples would be letters, right. letters to inform, to say, letters to request, include emails, emails. Include what? Examples. Examples. Of business. Writing, cover letters, um, and their traits. That means describe them. Don't just say, so in this class I learned that I despise business writing. I mean, it covers, you know, it covers uh, you know, cover letters, you know, writing to request, writing to inform. I learned that I hate its guts. Great. Say why you hate it, Scott. Say like 
I find it crit I find it too too direct. There's no elegance in the style. There's no poetry in the words. It That's seems totally almost crumbly. ugly and colorless and robotic. <laughs> then say it at least. But you know, as long as you admit that okay, it can be useful because that's what they're using to communicate in business now. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So you know, uh, you ever have a math teacher like yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever have a math teacher who uh, would tell you, I don't care if you get a problem wrong. I just want you to show your work. Mr. Yeah. Shoe. Yeah. Yeah. I had a math teacher who would cross out my right answers when I didn't show my work. If, you know, the answer was right, but I didn't show my work. So, in this case, show your work about why you think something. You want to make it down. I mean, you no, I really do. Well, it'll give us a page. It'll help us with yeah. a page. Yeah, you can go more than a page if you want to, but a page is the minimum. At least, okay. This also means I'm going to give you hard, you know, hard data to support for this, which is, you know, at least, at least three. Paragraphs of five sentences. Okay, so at the very least, I'm getting 15 sentences. At the least, they better be damn good. I mean, you better be in your top writing form if you're only handing me 15 sentences. Okay. Oh. All right. So show your work so thoughts feelings descriptions okay everyone get that for this writing part showing your work giving me descriptions giving me feelings, giving me thoughts, they're all valuable things. Okay? The more I can feel like I'm in your head, the better your job you're doing with this part. It has to be relevant. Don't, don't say I wonder what I was going to have for dinner and then, I, then go on a you know, three-page ramble about how much you love you know, uh, duck bordelaise, which you're having for dinner tonight or whatever. That's, that's not the sort of thing I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is details, filler. Ideas that, you know, I wouldn't have, I'm not eating this. So show your work and make it personal. That, so that I can do good. <laughs> while I am I am responsible for teaching you Brit while I am responsible for teaching you at least the very rudiments of business writing. He just loves writing so much. I do. It's, re it's really a thing. Writing. I will know if you're happy about what you wrote. You should feel writing. at the end of it that you're satisfied with what you wrote, that you know you did your best, that you checked it, the words flow, the symmetry is good, you've mentioned all I've asked you to mention, you followed the format, you know, what I learned about my writing. That's what we're going to learn. Yeah. What I learned about my writing. Actually, under care, because that would be grammatically incorrect. Okay, so what I learned about my writing, uh, you, you're going to brainstorm on it, you're going to include examples of business writing and their traits, how you feel about it. Um, most of you, if not no, every mother's son of you in here has done business writing in form of a cover letter. You now, arguably, if you've been paying attention, should be able to write a better cover letter than you wrote in TNS1 last semester. In theory, make no promises. I know that I'm a piss poor business writing teacher sometimes. Did you return our? Hmm? Did you return our? Oh, you never no, returned. Listen, the I semester know, ain't over yet. I don't have any work though. <laughs> <laughs> help, tell me, help me, tell me. No, we're I'm not sorry. getting it. All right. You looked at it. So, any questions about the writing portion? No. No. You're just saying that to get rid of me, Cheryl. Yeah, nice try. I, I know your game. Unfortunately, in a wait out the clock scenario, not a. That's enough. Can't Editing, writing. No, it's not enough. Editing, we haven't got to the bonus else? page yet. What? Editing, Editing writing, writing, vocabulary. Oh, okay. All right, so the vocab is... Vocab is a bonus? Vocab is bonus. Oh, okay. And what are the rules of a bonus page, guys? Tell me. 
I don't know. I beat them into your heads hard enough. Now yeah, they're bad notes. What? Now yeah, they're on the computer. Right, right, right. But what what makes this bonus page different from this? Yeah. Very much need to get reimbursement. Uh, no. Go get your reimbursement if you have to. Please. What are the rules of the bonus? Right, the rules of the bonus page that separate it from the actual exam um, okay. is that in the exam you'll be penalized for answering a question incorrectly, right? In the bonus page, you are not no points are docked for you answering incorrectly. So say I wrote, you know, the, the vocab page has vulpine, ursine, all that other stuff. And you say ursine is like a fox and vulpine is like a bear. You mix them up. Ordinarily, if they weren't on the bonus page, you'd lose two points. But since they're on the bonus page, you lose nothing. So uh, the words that you gave us on practice are going to be after words? Maybe. Probably, yeah. Since you're familiar with them. But I don't promise anything. There'll probably be a couple new ones, but except, expect to see that core. The point of a bonus page is, you know, to show off that part of the knowledge of the semester. But also, you know, if you feel it's sort of a last chance, really. Like you can go up a full letter grade if you get all the bonus perfectly. You know, so you know, pay attention to the vocab. It's it's not useless. I promise you that much. And this test is on Monday. This test is on Monday. Excited yet? I need to write all this down. Uh, <laughs> well, get started, Mr. Charlie. Don't uh, you need to write down? Oh, I need to write down these specifications that I just yeah, worked see, out with you guys. See how you just have So do you guys feel like you could write about this with mess. feeling, with energy, with passion? You can make me happy to read this, and more importantly, you guys happy to write this? No. Shut All up, right. <laughs> no, really not. But I, I'm just going to do my thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was doing that for Michelle. Yeah, I the saying, brainstorming so. sheet will help. <laughs> the uh, I've given Miss Cheryl a nickname, and that's Commander Contrarian. <laughs> what Contrarian is someone who disagrees with you just out of habit. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like a how I was when George W. Bush was in office. Um, All right, he's <laughs> All right, so Walter, we went over the bonus sheet, which is just vocabulary stuff. You can't get penalized for getting an answer wrong, which is great. You can only get points for getting it right. You can bump you up a full letter grade to get all of them right, so that's 10 points. Not too bad, eh? Pretty good deal. No one loses, especially not me. Uh, am I missing anything? No. All right. All right. So that's at least it for the recording part. Uh, we're not out of class yet, though. Nope.